This is Seth Hanchi. His tattoos tell his story. This is the Roman numeral date of the accident, 9-28-2011. This is a type of Seth coming up. He was bound and there's flames. The Latin word invictus means unconquered. The Latin word percussus, resurgio, is the two words that his dad had written in the back of his Bible one year before the accident when he told us he was called to preach. Those two words ironically mean, when struck, I shall rise. This is the cross in the right hand for his call. One year to the date of the accident, he started getting the tattoos. They took a year and this hand was actually still clenched when he got that done. In the left hand is a dead serpent for the enemy. He is conquered and defeated. Here's the scripture that when his sister called and told us the accident, uh, we begin to pray this and now it's part of the foundation uh, website. It's, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Psalms 118, 17. This is Latin, carpe diem. That means seize the day, but it's also a philosophy which means live your life with no regrets for tomorrow. Don't waste a breath that God has given you. This is Christ picking Seth up out of his grave. And this is the tombstone that has Seth's initials and the date of the accident again, 9-28-2011. Christ is standing on the back of the Grim Reaper who is coming out of Seth's grave and holding onto Seth's ankle. Seth died at the scene twice. Christ has a spear in his hand. He's going to spear Grim Reaper in the head because Christ won and is victorious. Primo Dias on this cross means God is first place in my life. And then the word strength and the word honor. Those are two words that are significant to Seth. They're also, also on his high school ring because they're the centurion's code and it is a, a code for a leader to stand with moral integrity, to defend the vulnerable and the weak. And Seth's true strength and honor is that he is a man of moral integrity and a godly man. And when they said he wouldn't know who he was or remember who he was or have memories, we would tell him every night and all through the day, Seth, you're a man of strength and honor. You're a man of integrity. And he does know that, and those are the two words he chose to put on his bicep. This tattoo is the tattoo that when we got his phone back from the state trooper and plugged it up, he was still in ICU, it was 10 days later, and this tattoo was the screensaver on his phone. He had actually wanted this tattoo a year before the date of the accident. The only difference is the words here, Romans 8:28, was in red. He told his youth group the night before that he actually started every single morning out with this scripture because his saying was, it's all good. All things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. This is God watching over Seth as he walks through the valley of the shadow of death. And it says, no fear at the foot of the soldier and on the back is the psalms that reads yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me then he has two wings because he did die twice and then the last part of the tattoo is his mantra quitting lasts forever pain lasts for a moment so push through it. He said when he was learning to walk in the days that he has had a lot of pain, which is daily, he lives with pain and headaches. So this has not been an easy recovery. But if you keep pushing, you can get through it. Send a friend request to Team Seth Hanchi on Facebook to stay up to date on Seth's miracle story. For more information, please visit our website at teamsethfoundation.org.